What's going on, people? Prince here. All right, as most of you know, or some of you know, IGN released a uh, they released a gameplay video in about 15 minutes, uh, showing us the path of greatness mode. All right, so pretty much you can either choose to continue LeBron James's journey with the Heat, or click fantastic journey on the right there, and you'll you'll go off and and pick another team. And that'll compete in the 2014-2015 season, like New York or, or Sixers or whatever. There's, there's all these different options, okay? And I think this is a cool mode. It's a pretty good mode because um, it reminds me of kind of the Michael Jordan stuff that we've had in the previous 2K titles. This is not the reason for me doing this video right now, okay? I'm going to analyze the gameplay footage and let you, let you know the problems with it and, and, and why 2K14 really just isn't what we all expected it to be what it should be okay first look. crew mode 2k8 and gold so lazy with crew mode you know they're only doing 3v3 and 5v5s right they weren't even gonna do 5v5s until the people who went down and test out 2k14 were like no you can't this is unacceptable we can't have this and the developers had to push the developers to get 5v5 anyway there's no custom arenas, there's no custom, you can't even do it in crew mode in the arena like it always was. It's blacktop, it's pretty much blacktop, that's what that's what crew mode is this year. And I didn't, I never played blacktop, I played it like once, that's it. I didn't, it wasn't my thing, that's it, I played other modes. It didn't interest me, and crew mode is not going to interest me this year either, and I don't think it will appeal to many people at all. So really, 2K done fucked up in the crew mode and got lazy, why couldn't they just put the 2K11, 2K10 version of crew mode, I don't know. You know, that's their own, their own thing. I don't know. All right, let's get into this gameplay right now, okay? Because there's some good things in this gameplay. There's a lot of improvements. Like, that was a very nice pass. At least on M1. You see that little Rondo celebration? That looks good. But then there's some bad things. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll pick them up when I see it. But another thing that we that we know... There's a nice little layup animation by Rondo. And another thing we know that isn't fixed... It, a little tiny thing that really is important. Accessories. Customizable accessories. I don't mean for my career, I mean for actual these guys right now. You know? It, look at the black sleeves. It doesn't... And look at Rondo's black sleeve. Why do they all have these generic colors? Why don't they have their team colors? Like in real life. And when they go home and away, the sock color changes. It doesn't, it doesn't change. So, Alright, it's such a small thing, yet it's significant, and it can be fixed so easily, like, that I'm sure that's like a little bit of coding, like, you know, that, that wouldn't take long to fix, you can make a big game like this, you can fix some accessories. Because in that, you know, there's a beautiful pass by LeBron James as he gets blocked, Veritas on his ass. Um, it's looking good. Now, why, how, 2K, I'm gonna say it again, they're just lazy. Look, it's really, this 2K14 is really 2K13 2.0, it's really a giant patch. It's, it's kind of, it's disappointing, because, um, why don't they patch the games annoys me very much, because there's, there's issues that could be fixed pretty easily with simple patches, and I think they obviously do it on purpose so they can then address them in the next game, and say, oh, look at this, look what we've done. But that's some nice animations we just saw as the two big men fall over. And you see the menu right there. It's blue. They just changed it to, from red to blue. Are you serious? Look at all. Everything's the same. Like the diagrams. The, the presentation is all the same. The crowd's the same. The crowd still don't celebrate. You know, when they hit a big shot or... You know, they, they don't... It's disappointing. As Chris Paul misses the spin jumper. But for most of all, it looks pretty much the same. It's just another year, another game. As a, that's a very nice, and I like that layup by Darren Williams. You know, he finger rolled it to just get it over the defense. The two shot blockers, LeBron James and some other guy. Um, uh, it's coming up soon. Uh, what I want to talk about, yeah, right here. The spin. Did you see that? He spun and he lost the ball. That is it was such an annoying thing. You couldn't do a spin move close to a defender without it getting hit, without a no call. There's always a no call, no foot violation. So that's not great to see. But I understand that it can be sometimes realistic. You're going to hit it off people's foot sometimes. But it happens too often. And guess what? Yep, leaning layup. It's back. Except, 
I know people are, people are talking shit about it. They're, they're really just ripping on him. You know, a lot of commentators um, that have been analyzing his gameplay. A lot of big commentators have been saying and been very disappointed, you know, in 2K for not fixing that. And here's the thing: it has been fixed. It's been it's been put down a lot. You know, we didn't see that in the gameplay between LD 2K and Ronnie 2K. We didn't see any leaning left. This is the first leaning left we've ever seen, and it kind of sometimes it, it, it's appropriate to use because when the defender's positioning is good enough, you're not going to be able to get that shot off and you're going to lean back a little bit. That can happen in basketball. It is possible. It's not a completely unrealistic thing. If people realize that if they played it, if they actually played the sport is what I'm talking about. You know, you can get pushed back into those types of shots. But just that it's being put down a lot, it is good. All right? It's not going to be... They said it's not going to be completely eliminated. And you see Monte Ellis, you know, it's a nice little celebration he got there, holding up the two two hands for the three. You know, that's cool. Um, and did you, did you see that? He can get a steal, he can get it reached in. And I don't know who that was who got the steal, but someone got a steal, and nice and one. Without, uh, without getting a foul call. And that, that's pretty much it. The one thing I'm going to leave you with. 2K is really not going to step up until they have some competition. Live coming back will be the best thing to happen to basketball video games, okay? And the next-gen console, when live back there, that's it. We're going to see some good competitive games as 2K really going to have to step up to compete with live, to compete with these other games. So really 2K14, really now, you know what it is? It's a shiny dick with no balls, that's what it is. So until live comes out, until we get some com com competition between these video games, then we're going to see some mediocre shit. That's all I'm going to say. Prince out.